Hey folks, it's Gary from Nova Scotia Yak Fisher Outdoors. I have just made the hike in uh, to the spot where I did a little ice fishing in the uh, hut tent in a few uh, or a month or so ago now. Uh, out first week of March after a warm week. Uh, I believe the ice is still safe. We'll check that after. But uh, this will probably be my last ice fish and my last hot tent this winter season. Uh, I might get out very early spring with it or something like that. But anyway, I got a lot of work to do to make sure I got the wood for the night because it's supposed to turn quite cold and uh, get camp set up and hopefully get out for some ice fishing. So if some uh, hot tents and uh, ice fishing interests you, stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to get to work. So, I think I got enough wood. Uh, I'm not crazy about the amount I had, but I just want to keep a fire, have enough for a fire going to the evening part. I'm back and uh, a little bit in the morning. Cook my supper and breakfast type of thing. So, I should be all right that way. I got lots of spruce and stuff just outside, but I'd rather not cut anymore. And I want to get a little fishing done. So. I am 
headed to the lake. It is uh, 20 to 4, so probably be 4 o'clock before I get set up. And uh, hopefully uh, pull off a fish or two before I turn around and come back. Right. Now the key is not to get wet getting back to the lake. I'm going to try the opposite end of the lake that I tried last time. Uh, I think the first time ever uh, I've ever gone in here, although this lake has been open for ice fishing for a while, I've never seen a hole or a person. Uh, but I did find a couple holes down the end that I was fishing. Uh, not the spot exactly, but anyway, I figured I'd take a walk up the lake. It's only a small lake anyway, so we're going to try here. Oh, right under the hole. <sighs> the little fella. <laughs> oh well. Have a little bit of a fish fry, I guess. So, the uh, sun's starting to get down there. Uh, just the one fish so far. I've tried all three rods and not a thing, so except for that one small one. I uh, don't know if you can see that, but we got the moon out on this side of me, sun out on the other side, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm gonna scoot down the lake a little nearer to camp and uh, maybe drill a couple holes uh, right off a little point where I uh, Got a couple last time, so sort of gonna do a last bit effort. So I'm gonna shut the GoPro off, try to stay on my feet. There's some pretty slippery stretches, and uh, slide her way down.
that is unnecessary. It's a pretty good hit. Oh well. It sucks when you. When that happens when you're only getting a couple hits a day. It's been a real slow day, so. Alright. Like a better fish, but who knows? I'll get this whole rest for a minute. Go try the other hole I dug on this point, and uh. Give that one more shot before we leave. Ah, yeah. Well, the sun has disappeared. I'll give it a few more minutes going back and forth between these two holes. And if something doesn't happen quick, I'm gonna go home or go back to camp and light a fire. So hey folks, so I'm in the tent, I got the fire going, I just uh, made a coffee. Uh, gonna sit and enjoy that, and then I'm gonna uh, cook up some supper. I cleaned the fish, just a tiny pickerel, unfortunately, but I've got some potato hash, a couple deer steaks, and my pickerel, so it will be sort of a surf and turf meal tonight. I'm gonna try to film some of that as I go. So. Uh, yeah, that's what's on the agenda. The wind has picked up considerably in the last few minutes, so it sounds like it's going to be kind of a wild night out there. Um, just a wind event, and, and uh, the temperature is going to drop probably 10 degrees or so. But anyway, I'm going to uh, sip on my coffee for a few more minutes, and we'll bring you back when we get the frying pan on and start our surfing turf. Oh my God, does that coffee taste good tonight. All right, I'm gonna start by doing some of my hash. I got some olive oil here. Get that on there. Heat that up. Got a little bit of a sizzle on there now. Oh, let's see here. Asian seasoning. I think we'll do that up nicely. Alright, so we got the hash on. I got my deer steaks uh, out. I just put Montreal steak slice on one side and I'll throw them in when the time's right. Hash is looking pretty good. So I'll uh, put that off in here. If I have to reheat it when everything is done a little bit, that'll be all right. All right. Okay, now. Our turf. This is a little bit of deer steak. Yeah. 
Very good. Smells good. Ah. I certainly got her cooking in this tent right now. Not just the meat, I think I'm cooking. Supper cooks now. I'm gonna turn the heat down. Just a thicker one now. <coughs> Let that oil heat up there. little bit of surf and I do mean a little bit Exceptionally quick. I gotta dial this stove back a little bit. Holy whistle. Doesn't like cooking. That should about do it. All right, folks. Whew. She's a warm one. I got my deer steak, my hash, and my uh, fish, so I'm all set for supper. I've already tested the hash, it was delicious. So, Ooh, wow. Ash is awesome. My little eeny beeny pepper isn't too bad either.
Mm. Well, that folks is a good hot tent meal right there. Fish, rehydrated uh, potato flakes fried up and deer steak. Doesn't get any better than that. Uh, whew, still hot in here, although I have the stove simmered down quite a bit. Shut right down, so we'll just simmer so it should, uh, should uh, start cooling off in here again. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my meal. Probably uh, sit back, listen to a podcast, read a little bit of my book. If anything interesting happens, I'll bring you back. Otherwise, we'll see you in the morning. Mm. Awesome. be a pleasant walk out today. Oh well. No time like the present. Well folks, blown a gale out there this morning so hopefully the audio is okay I'm all packed up and uh, just getting ready uh, for the uh, long climb for the first half of this trip out uh, it's the way it is both ways in this trip long climb up you have a climb up the first half and a downhill the second half so anyway I hope you enjoyed the video uh, didn't I only got the one little tiny pickerel, but had it absolutely probably my favorite meal I've ever had in the woods. It just hit the spot last night. So there was that. You don't get to have surf and turf uh, every day in the woods. So that was awesome. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Nova Scotia Act Fisher Outdoors. Bye bye.